Hi, and welcome to Sadie Spincraft channel. Yeah, looked after with my headphones on. I hope you can hear me. But it's just before bed. I'm looking at wrong bit cameras there, but I'm still because I'm used to it being the other way around. But I'm gonna be doing a dye video, and I'm putting this to soak, which is the super fine merino. But I've put the water in the bag. I don't know if you can see that. Drip into there. Yeah. And so that I've got just enough. And it soaks in just right. And there's no mess left over. It is just plain tap water that I'm soaking it in. I will be adding the vinegar to the mix because I will be mixing them up this time round. And we're going to use the fish steamer. So I'm gonna lay it out in the fish steamer. I'm gonna put the dyes on in whatever color formation I end up picking and choosing. I haven't looked at my dyes yet, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna get it sorted, we're getting ready. I haven't done any videos recently or lives because it's been one thing after another. Um, I found out my nan died, then I ended up getting another cat, a rescue cat. Then I buried my nan. During all this, my daughter's come home. Um, and yes, I'm just struggling to put everything back together and move forward. So this is me moving forward video. So we're gonna dye 200 grams of 18.5 super fine micron, 18.5 micron super fine merino top from World of Wool. And we're gonna like I said, I ain't even looked at the colours yet. Yes. I'll do that in morning Woo! and this is soaked and I'm ready and it's daylight and we're not using the uh, light from the ceiling, that one, yeah. So I'm gonna go to bed. I'll see you all tomorrow. We're gonna let this soak and yeah. Woo, bye. So I've got it laid out in the pan I do have a bit of green on it because I'm going through my dyes and I've got some on my thumb so now it's on the fibre so not to worry but I do need to pick some colours so what colours do I go for I'm going to need that oh I've got a pin do you know what I think a bit of scarlet red uh, because we're red. Do I want red? I don't know. I don't want that. Or that. Or that. Or that. No. Just not, there's not much of that. Might have a gander at it. I don't want red, I've changed my mind. What's that? That's blue. I think that was silver, but there's not left. What's that? It's navy blue. Right, that is actually uh, food colouring on that. One of them leaked, but the fire, the dye inside it is absolutely fine. That's a green, believe it or not. It looks like a brown or a red. It's actually green. Uh... No. I've got some yellow. Yes. 
midnight no Actually, yeah, I'm going to try some pistachio that I've been put on properly. Let's put that back on. Honey mustard. Honey black. Moss. So what have we got there? Pistachio, moss green. Platinum, honey mustard. Yeah. Yellow. Soft tan. Where's the teddy bear brow? There. It looks a lot. It probably is a lot. But that's what I want. <laughs> yeah. The green. The green. Do you know what? I don't want the pistachio and the moss green. Where's the moss green? Right, I don't want them in. I'm going to use Soft Tan uh, World of Wolves Yellow Teddy Bear Brown Platinum and Honey Mustard It's what we're going for. I don't even know if you saw all that, but yeah. <laughs> so let's play. Just move that out of the way. It's on like a stand, so when I put the water in, I'll put it down there and it'll steam it rather than... Yeah. So how do I want this? I'm going to start with yellow first. Yellow first, then a bit of honey mustard that looks like it's got sawdust in. <laughs> right, I will say you will need to use gloves, mask and everything. Don't do what I do. Be better and look after your health. So this has already been soaking in the bag all night, as we know. Um, I will be pressing it in. I don't want platinum yet. I don't want teddy bear brown. No, we've got soft tan. So I will be pushing the powders in. As you can see, this one's got lumps in it. So it definitely needs a helping hand. And I'll go Teddy Bear Brown and nearly drop it all because that's what clever girls do. So that's the brown. I'm just going to go with the platinum. 
next. So that's the platinum. And you know, I think I want honey mustard again. And then yellow. So we'll put some more sawdust on. I am putting loads of powder on because I, I do want it to go all the way through. And then last but not least, we'll do this last lot and I'm going to just do it yellow. I need some more yellow. Hey, Tula baby. She's just had a collar off because baby girl's had a tail removal. Aren't you pretty girl? Mm -hmm. We a little doggy tail now. It wags like a little doggy. Don't go near it. So, I'm just going to get some gloves if I've got any, so we can give it a good old pat. And then I'll get some water, put it down the side, and we'll steam it on the cooker hob. So I'll have a gas hob here and a gas hob here. I don't have a glove, so improvisation, it is plastic bag. <laughs> just move that. So, just want to make sure that all the dye is wet. <laughs> yeah, this is what it looks like. It's got a little stand, and then it goes in. darker to darker but I just want to make sure that soft tan is uh, it's, I don't think it's going to be very soft <laughs> <laughs> that teddy bear brown looks almost black but we're all good, we're all good, it'll work its way turn that back over again for this, for this bit Okay. At least we know that it's not all hunky dory. I'm just going to use <laughs> this part of the bag just to do this bit of yellow. Hey! So, I'm going to put some water on top. Look at state. I don't even know why I bothered with a bag. I don't even know why I bothered. <laughs> I've got it everywhere. It's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm going to add some water. I'm going to put it on the hob. 
I'll bring you back before I start drying it and washing it. So, yeah. I'll be back soon. So, I've added water and vinegar. I use white vinegar. I wouldn't have used vinegar if Christiana reminded me. So I forgot. <laughs> so I've added uh, water and vinegar. It's now steaming. I reckon, let's have a look at time. Another 10, 20 minutes and it should be ready. And then I can let it cool. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. I've got a feeling it's going to be a funny colour water underneath. Do I get... A bit of uh Corridale, not Corridale. Cheviot. 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 I need to remember how to say that. Cheviot. Anyway, <laughs> rather than just being the typical Yorkshire lass and going, no, it's Cheviot. I know how to speak. It's Cheviot. Anyway, <laughs> I might just stick a bit of that ink bottom to soak up the colour and just see what we come out with. What do you reckon? Sounds like a plan, doesn't it? Hey. Yeah, does that sound like a plan? Yeah. yeah, Chrissy says it sounds like a plan. So, we'll go away. We'll be back soon. <sighs> we get there in end. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but meh, it'll be good. If this turns out how I want it to turn out or how I'm thinking it might turn out, then we're going to do Rambulay. Anyway, yeah, love y'all. See you in a minute. So, I've added the water and vinegar. I did end up adding a little bit more yellow just on the ends. But the soft tan and teddy bear brown, by the looks of it, have kind of blended. But we've got the honey mustard and the yellow brown honey mustard yellow that's all that matters so i'll be back when it's finished steaming and i'm not ready yet <laughs> back soon so i'm not sure i'm gonna have any yellow left because you know it slipped when i was pushing my hands on it yeah well it did that while it was cooling so well, we'll see what it's like once it finished cooling. I've put the chevia in underneath. It's just going to be brown. I think I'm just going to have lots, a lot of brown. But it's all right. I'll just have to dye a red or some it. And we'll blend them. We'll blend them. That's what we'll do. But you never know, I might like this different shades of brown and I might, I might decide, do you know what, yeah, we'll use that as it is. I might make a, ooh, I might do a fractal with it actually. Sounds like a plan. It'll only be a two-ply fractal, quite thick, so you can see all colours. Well, we'll see, because it's me and it'll end up being fine because that's me no we're all good we're all good i've got i've got i've got ideas ideas are good so long as i can put them to fruition we'll see i'll be back soon Foreman, i stood it up the wrong way around oh because the picture on here shows it like that, but I didn't see these bits. So, mm, maybe that's why it fell over. And that's why it didn't work right. We'll try it again, eh? We'll do it with, uh, what do we call it? What do we call it? We call it Rambula. That's what we call it, right? <laughs> I'll, I'll be back. It turned out way better than I expected after dropping it in a few times. But here we go. <laughs> How cool is that? 200 grams of fire. I just love it. I love it, love it, love it. 
absolutely love it. There were loads of brown left over, and I mean, it were brown. So I put some chevia in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to put. They're not dry, but yeah, I put some chevia in. That soaked it up, but it didn't want enough to soak it all up. So then I added some Corridor. Is it Corridor? No, Carmo. Right. So I put the Carmo in. That still want enough. And then I thought, well, I don't just want brown. So I added the Scarlet Red. Then it was too red. So I added <laughs> um, some more Carmo. And added some berry crush on top. I did a, no, I did berry crush. Then I did some more fiber. Then I added some more fiber. Then I added some more fiber. And I still didn't use all the dye because I'm a fool. So I'm going to show you all the it ranging down in the colors. So this is the cheviot. Then it goes into the lighter one there. Oh, that's just blurred out. Let's shift my finger. So that one is all these next ones are Carmo. So you can see it's still got a bit of light brown in that one. So I decided to add some Berry Crush and for some reason there was blue in Berry Crush. So there's that one blue spot. And then it started like it did it, it it did start getting <laughs> less and less but I still did not use all that dye so I reckon I could have used some more and got an even lighter pink than that but I had no room left in my pan <laughs> with all this so this is now drying We've got some beautiful colours going on. Yes, I've tried to stay away from blue and purple because that is my signature move, blue and purple. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be getting back into a routine, fingers crossed, hopefully. Like I said, I've just had so much on recently. I just, I've got to a point during the day where I've just gone, I can't. And that's been with everything, apart from crochet. And even that is taking forever. So, yeah. I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget, no matter where you are in the world, whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. Love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there. And I shall see you all again soon. Don't forget, if you like, like to make, uh, if you like to comment, you can comment down below. It does help the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you would like to donate to the channel to help me out with all these crazy things, <laughs> um, I do take donations through PayPal. Um, friends and family on sadiespincraft at gmail.com. Love and hugs to all you fantastic people out there. And I shall see you all again very soon. Goodbye, my beautifuls.